Former Counting On star Joy, Anna Forsyth has embarked on a new journey, but it may not be going as planned. On social media, the Duggar daughter revealed that she's begun homeschooling her son, Gideon. Joy, Anna, and Austin also have a daughter, Evelyn. In her Instagram stories, she gave fans a peek into their everyday lives. In one clip, she's talking to her phone about how she homeschools Gideon. She also tells fans about the rest of their day as they're planning to run errands. Joy Anna admits that they're just focusing on the basics right now. Since Gideon has just started school at home, he only works for about five minutes each day. She said, I normally try and do like five minutes a day. On Reddit, a Duggar snark shared a screenshot from Joy Anna's story, questioning the mom's decision to teach her son for five minutes per day. The user doesn't think it's a sufficient amount of time. Others are chiming in and discussing the length of Gideon's school day. Critics are also unhappy with Joy Anna saying she tries to teach Gideon for five minutes per day. They think that this shows that the routine is inconsistent or that she's not taking it seriously. One user writes, I don't think it's a huge issue that she homeschools five minutes a day. I actually think at this age, even just going over little things at various times of the day are more beneficial, singing ABCs in the car, that type of thing. They continue, what I do think is an issue is that she tries to do this daily. Time management has never been a Duggar strong suit. If she doesn't get serious about education in the next year or so, it will be another undereducated generation. Many Duggar snarks are asking about Gideon's age. He's three years old and will turn four on February 23, so he's still pretty young. On Reddit, some users are arguing that five minutes is a good enough place to start, especially because he's only three. They hope that Joy Anna will continue to increase that time as he gets older and learns how to focus during the school day. So, do you think five minutes is enough school time for a three-year-old? Or do you think Gideon could benefit from a more structured and longer routine? Let us know in the comments below. Joy Anna Forsyth, beloved by fans for her down-to-earth demeanor and openness about family life, recently found herself at the center of controversy after sharing a video detailing her son Gideon's homeschool routine. The post, intended to provide a glimpse into their daily lives, sparked heated debates among fans and critics alike about parenting choices, educational philosophies, and the challenges of being a public figure. Joy Anna's video started innocently enough, showing her five-year-old son Gideon engaged in various educational activities. Set in the cozy dining area of their Arkansas home, the routine highlighted activities such as morning prayer, reading practice, basic math exercises, and nature-themed crafts. In the video, Joy Anna explained, We keep things simple and fun. Gideon learns best when he's hands-on, so we focus on activities that let him explore and discover. She also shared how she integrates everyday tasks into lessons, such as baking to teach measurements and gardening to introduce science concepts. Joy Anna's tone throughout the video was warm and encouraging, and Gideon appeared cheerful and engaged. To many, it seemed like a heartfelt effort to balance education with nurturing family values. Despite Joy Anna's good intentions, the video quickly attracted criticism from some corners of the internet. A significant number of commenters questioned the adequacy of Gideon's routine, pointing out that it seemed overly relaxed and unstructured compared to traditional schooling. Others raised concerns about Joy Anna's qualifications as a teacher, given her own limited formal education within the Duggar family's homeschool framework. One comment read, Homeschooling is great, but it looks like Gideon isn't being challenged enough. Where is the structured curriculum? Another added, this is why homeschooling gets a bad reputation. It's not just playtime, it needs to be rigorous. Some critics also highlighted the lack of social interaction in Gideon's routine, arguing that homeschooling should prioritize opportunities for children to engage with peers. Amidst the criticism, Joy Anna's loyal supporters were quick to defend her. They praised her hands-on approach and emphasized that every child learns differently. Gideon looks happy and engaged, and that's what matters most, one fan wrote. Not all learning has to happen with a workbook. Another chimed in. Joy is doing an amazing job blending education with real-life skills. It's clear she's putting her heart into this.
Several homeschooling parents shared their own experiences, pointing out that flexibility and tailoring lessons to a child's interests are some of the greatest advantages of homeschooling. They commended Joyanna for showcasing an alternative to the one-size-fits-all approach of traditional schooling. Never one to shy away from addressing her followers, Joyanna took to Instagram to respond to the feedback. In a candid post, she acknowledged the concerns while standing by her methods. I appreciate everyone's opinions and suggestions, she wrote. Homeschooling is a journey, and we're constantly learning and adapting. What works for one family might not work for another, and that's okay. Joanna also explained that Gideon's routine is intentionally laid back at this stage. He's only five and we want him to enjoy learning. We're focusing on the basics and letting him explore at his own pace. There's plenty of time for structure as he grows. Joanna's homeschooling video reignited broader conversations about the homeschooling movement, especially within large families like the Duggars. Critics often point to concerns about academic rigor and socialization, while proponents highlight the benefits of personalized education and the ability to incorporate family values into learning. For Joanna, who was homeschooled alongside her 18 siblings, the decision to homeschool her own children seems like a natural continuation of her upbringing. However, it's clear she's taking a different approach, incorporating modern methods and emphasizing a more relaxed and exploratory style. The debate also touched on the challenges of parenting in the public eye. As a member of the Duggar family, Joanna has spent her entire life under scrutiny. Every decision she makes, whether it's about parenting, marriage, or personal style, is dissected by fans and critics alike. What sets Joanna apart is her willingness to adapt and learn. Unlike her parents, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, who followed a rigid homeschooling philosophy, Joy Anna appears open to exploring different methods. She often seeks advice from her followers and shares her experiences honestly, mistakes and all. In a follow-up video, Joy Anna shared some of the changes she's considering for Gideon's routine, including introducing more structured reading lessons and enrolling him in a local co-op for socialization opportunities. It's all about finding the right balance, she said. We want Gideon to love learning, but we also want to make sure he's prepared for the future. The criticism hasn't deterred Joy Anna's most loyal fans, who admire her authenticity and dedication to her family. Many have shared words of encouragement, reminding her that parenting is a process of trial and error. Don't let the negativity get to you, one follower wrote. You're doing what's best for your family, and that's all that matters. Another added, it's so refreshing to see a mom who's honest about the ubis and downs of homeschooling. Keep doing what you're doing, Joy. Joy Anna's homeschooling efforts are also supported by her husband, Austin Forsyth, who shares her commitment to hands-on parenting. Together, they've created a home environment that emphasizes family togetherness and practical skills. Austin, a contractor and entrepreneur, often involves Gideon in his projects, teaching him basic carpentry and problem-solving skills. These moments of father-son bonding complement Joy Anna's homeschooling efforts, offering Gideon a well-rounded education rooted in real-life experiences. Despite the criticism, Joy Anna remains committed to homeschooling and continues to share glimpses of her family life with her followers. She views the feedback, both positive and negative, as an opportunity to grow and improve. In her own words, parenting isn't about getting it perfect, it's about showing up, loving your kids, and doing the best you can. As Gideon grows, it will be interesting to see how Joy Anna evolves her homeschooling approach. Whether she sticks to her relaxed methods or incorporates more structure, one thing is certain, her dedication to her children's happiness and well-being will always be at the heart of her decisions. Joy Anna Forsyth's homeschooling journey has sparked a lively debate highlighting the challenges and rewards of educating children at home. While the criticism she faced may have been harsh, it's clear that Joy Anna is navigating this path with love, patience, and a willingness to adapt. In sharing her experiences, she's opened up an important conversation about what it means to educate, nurture, and prepare children for the future in a way that aligns with family values. And as always, Joy Anna's candidness and resilience continue to inspire fans worldwide.